welcome back to Booze Briefs. I'm Matt. I'm Derek. We got a who the hell knows <laughs> bottle coming here. We got something. Uh, today's something is from Bogue Sound Distillery in Bogue, North Carolina, so out on the East Coast. We don't have a West Coast. Could have just said the coast. Yeah, it's by the water. Yeah. So, Bogue Sound Distillery, John A.P. Connolly, American Small Batch, Bourbon Whiskey. I'm doing that. Tell the folks what they should do while I'm opening. Well, I mean, if I was you, I'd probably go subscribe to the channel on YouTube. We picked up some new subscribers. It's awesome. And uh, we're on TikTok now. Hey, doing TikTok that? things. Uh, we're, I don't know, do you call it talking, ticking, TikToking? I mean, what, I don't this isn't know. helping our credibility at all. Uh, well, hey, but you know what we do? We pour good bottles of whiskey and bourbon on there, and it is delicious. And you get some good music to go along with it, too. So, Check that out. Facebook, we're on there. Uh, Instagram. Kind of. Ish. And, uh, yeah. So, so Matt. interesting topper. It, the topper, it's the synthetic nonsense. Uh, I don't care for it. Is it, but it's a wooden top? Yes. So they went half-ass on it. Yeah, yes. Oh. You know, it's got a little, you know, nice beveled, like an old root beer mug kind of thing at the Lots bottom. Lots root beer. Yep. And the back tells a story. Okay. <laughs> This bourbon whiskey is distilled from locally sourced grains. Named for John A.P. Connolly and crafted in the United States, this fine whiskey's journey began when John's father-in-law transported a still from Scotland to America to produce whiskey and brandy to provide for his family. The still was housed in John and Sarah Connolly's barn until it was stolen, later confiscated by a local sheriff, and ultimately donated to a museum in Raleigh. Here's what it tells you about the whiskey itself. John A.P. Connolly, American bourbon whiskey, is rich in history and smooth in taste. This is batch number 40, no bottle number. This is just batch number 40. Just batch number 40. They just didn't get around to writing the... Uh... I guess. Awesome. Uh, so all we know about it is it is at least 51% corn. There's no age statement on it. <laughs> but uh, because they call it bourbon whiskey, it has to be aged for two years. Uh, and it's 52% and it's 52, <laughs> oh, no. 52 ABV. So Matt, let's, let's see what we have here. And so when you said it was scotch and brandy, I'm assuming that it's going to... No, no, no. That was just the family still that they brought yeah, it Yeah, but, that, but that's what they're basing it off of, I'm assuming. Hell if I know. Phew! Wow. That first initial blast was a lot. It wasn't terrible, though. No, it's kind of charcoal-y, though. Mm-hmm. Which makes no sense that because it's not... I was like, and a little bottled after I, Tennessee whiskey, and I get a little cherry. Maybe this huh. is also a neck pour out of a bottle that cost what twenty five ninety five. Jesus Christ! I was at the ABC store and I was like, I saw this on an end cap. Oh God! And they had their own fancy sign behind it. I'm like, okay, sure, why not? Uh, it's a North Carolina product. I want to support local stuff. Let's let's find out if it sucks or if it's you know a little gem. Is silence acceptance? I, I, um, it's perfectly inoffensive whiskey. It's hot. It is. Like right on the tip of the tongue. It's like. Mm hmm. I wonder if you'll get, if that'll dissipate when we get out of the neck pour. That is better than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah, I was expecting, yeah. I was expecting a drain pour. <laughs> yeah. To be quite honest with you. Drain pour too. Maybe I'll mix this. <sighs> Let's see what water does to it. That first sip, that, that wasn't bad. Like it had more. <gasps> Had a little more texture to it than I would have guessed. Yeah, no, it definitely it had the texture of like a Woodford almost. Yeah, and I was also scared because this distillery they make two other products. Um, let me tell you what they are. A moment, please. Should have done some better show prep. Sorry. I mean, really? No. <laughs> um, water makes it better. Yeah. Yeah, water makes it better. So they also make a vodka. Oh, God, I can't believe that's even drinkable. They, they make a gin, and then they make two other whiskeys. Peanut butter flavored and salted caramel. All right, now peanut butter I can get behind. Salted caramel, I, I just can't do it. No? I, I can't do it. Because, In general, you don't like salted caramel? or Oh, I love salted caramel. I don't like salted caramel 
whiskey. If it like a Bailey's, sure, great. With a cigar, salted yeah. caramel, that's it. The the nose on this is actually decent with water. With water, it's much better. Yeah, it like brings I don't, out the notes. There, there's like a vanilla creaminess to this almost with the water. Yeah, I get more cherry now. And it's even, I mean, even just looking at the color of it, mm -hmm. it's even like a little reddish. It's definitely dark. Like this, behind it, it's 17 year. Mm -hmm. And I mean, look at the the color yeah. difference. I mean, obviously this one's darker, but still, that's that's good color. Now, for a two year. I, I don't know though. Can you add artificial color and still call it a bourbon whiskey? I don't. I don't think so. Okay. I know for a bottled and bond, you can. Right. But I don't know. I don't think you can. Because I know that's I don't a big... Think to be an American bourbon, I don't think you can add... Because that's a big thing in scotch, is you can add that good old E-150 color to make it look darker and better. But... Yeah, I don't think you can. If you know in the comments, oh, like yeah. I said, and let us know. I mean, there's a lot of smarter people out there than, than me, you know what I mean? <laughs> smarter than you, eh? <laughs> yep. All right. Uh, okay. Fine. It'll... It'll do in a pinch. So coming up in this session, we're going to talk about some of our favorite 25 and under bottles. This doesn't make that cut. But I'm surprised that it could be an under consideration. Yeah. I really thought there was a good chance I was setting 26 bucks plus tax on fire. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. I agree. I thought when before you even opened it, you saw my my anticipated disdain for this mm -hmm. bottle. And you know the the cheap little thin plastic top on there and the pull tab didn't inspire confidence. No. But hey, shout out to Bogue Sound Distillery. I yeah. don't know how long you've been doing this, but for a two year product, that's that's darn good. Yeah, no, that's tasty. Certainly better than Defiant. Everything is better than Defiant. <laughs> even rather. even that. Texas pot still from Balcones. God, that was better than Defiant. Oof. Score wise, where are you going with that? Twenty six dollars. I'm gonna give it eighty three. I was going eighty one. Yeah, it's good. Would I rush out and buy one? Probably not. No, it's not one that I would say you need to keep on hand, but. Especially, you know, if you want to support local, yeah, go for it. You, I would be shocked if you felt that this was a poor use of your money. Yeah, I would suggest that to somebody. If they were looking for a good North Carolina one, that's probably the first one out of North Carolina that I've enjoyed. Yeah, same. So, because they all have that was a weird taste. I Every think a, single North Carolina one I've had has had a weird taste. And I bet a lot of that is they're trying to rush a product to market so they can bring money in. Yeah. And good things take time. True. You can't cheat the process, defiant. Yeah. Meh. <laughs> I read there's some other company in downtown Raleigh who's like speed aging spirits. Don't do that. Just do it the right way. Yeah. But that's good. I like it. I would. I, I don't know how far they distribute, so depending on where you are, this may not be an option. But if you're in North Carolina, you, you should be able to find it. Yeah, the Raleigh area. It's mm -hmm. available. Available. Sweet. Well, we have some really fun ones coming up yeah. in the rest of the session here today so uh we're gonna get to those and uh, make sure you check it out and uh stay tuned yeah it's a good thing you already hit the subscribe button at the beginning of this video so yep. that way you'll get to see fun stuff like i don't know this guy or i don't know this guy yeah, maybe so yeah stay tuned and uh until next time put something good in your glass